Long and deep near side, looking for Hamilton. Reaches up and makes the catch and breaks Deion Butler's career receiving record. His 180th reception of his career. He is the all-time leading receiver of Penn State, and he does so in spectacular fashion. Deshaun Hamilton fresh off a huge Saturday, nine catches, three TDs in Penn State's win over Indiana. He was named Big Ten Co-Offensive Player of the Week, and as you heard, he became Penn State's career receptions leader in that game. He joins us now from our studio in State College. And Deshaun, there have been some really good wide receivers to go through State College through the years. What does it mean to you to be the all-time leader in catches? Um, yeah, it's a really special honor, um, you know, especially with guys like Allen that used to play here, Deion Butler, um, Bobby Ingram, Joe Jared Vicious, and a lot of those guys. It's, it's really been, you know, an honor to receive that and, and really just thinking back on it, like a long journey that I've had in my career and things like that is really special. Well, Coach Franklin said he made a really big deal out of it in the locker room. Can you provide us with some detail of what a really big deal looked like? Oh, uh, yeah, Coach Franklin, he was really happy for me. He was really ecstatic. Uh, he was pumping the crowd up and, and basically just making a bigger deal out of it. Um, then when we got in the locker room, he just basically told the whole team, basically, like, my whole journey, um, what I had gone through, what I had battled through throughout my career here and things like that. And then um, he gave me the game ball for the game. And it was just essentially just uh, uh, him just acknowledging basically all the things that I went through in, his, in my career. And then finally to reach this mark is it, it really special as well. For those who may not be familiar with your story, outline for us what he was going through. What have you gone through? Uh, really, yeah, my freshman year, uh, led the Big Ten in catches, um, and then had a, had a really good year. That, and our team actually was busy, still hitting, hit with turmoil from the, the sanctions that were placed on us a few years before. But then, um, yeah, after my freshman year, battled through that. Then sophomore, junior year, things kind of... Uh, you know, went downhill a little bit. Obviously, more talent talent came on. Uh, Chris, who's my great friend, you know, I love him to death. He had two explosive years after that as well. So, um, basically, just production kind of slipped a little bit. But that was just just going towards basically all, as much talent as we had on our team, and you know, the ball spreading around to a lot more guys. And then finally, this season coming up um, is you know being my last year, my fifth year, um, and then you know, just basically having so many different teammates, and then finally coming back. And, and being able to be one of the team leaders and then being named team captain and things like that. So it was just basically him going through my whole, you know, the kinds of ups and downs. Uh, not a typical college football player's, I guess, journey and story, things like that, or anyone that, anything that someone could predict. But, um, but yeah, it was, it's really kind of unique in its own way. I know your parents have been really important to you. They haven't missed a game that you played in during your college career. Other than the very first one, I guess, right, in Ireland. They weren't out there and, and then saw you on TV and said, wow, we didn't even think he was going to play. And, and have been at everyone since then. What was their reaction to the record? Um, yeah, my parents were really happy for me. Um, they were basically just ecstatic. They, it's been a long time coming for them, too. Like you said, they've been to every single game. Um, they were really happy for me, uh, and I was really happy that they were actually at the game to see that. But, yeah, my first ever college career game, my, my parents didn't even know I was on TV yet. Because uh, we were over in Ireland, so the game aired, I think, about 8 o'clock. But, um, but yeah, um, just they had gone through the whole journey with me, you know, battling through my injury when I redshirted and, and all my ups and down years and basically just the whole different uh, type of emotions that can go through a college football player's mind and, and them being my support system. So they were just really happy for me. Let's talk about your team, which, of course, is ranked fourth in the nation. Everyone's buzzing about Saquon Barkley. People are saying maybe the leader in the Heisman race right now. What is the most amazing thing that you've seen Saquon Barkley do? Um, most spectacular thing I think I've seen him do was last year against Iowa. He was in the middle of the scrum breaking all these tackles and a defender came and tried to tackle him and his back was to him somehow. And he was able to, I don't know, somehow pick his legs up and, and jump over the dude and make him miss from because he tried to go low for him and get his feet, obviously. He was able to make the dude miss that uh, was trying to get his feet, and he wasn't even facing him. He was just backwards. It was kind of like a, an instinct thing. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. On the other side of the ball, you go against this defense every day. Where have you seen the biggest improvement? Um, with our defense, they're just, they're just really, really, uh, I guess, 
mature. Um, they have a whole bunch of senior talent back there, as well as you know the, that senior talent is is carrying over to like, a lot of the younger guys that are getting playing time as well. I mean, you got guys like Grant, Marcus, and Jason, and uh, Curtis Cawthon, and guys like that, and and they've basically been the leaders of our defense. And you just see them playing with a lot of personality, a lot of grit. They're they're really tough and. You know, throughout these first five games, they've been playing really extremely well, and they've been doing a great job. Deshaun, how much did last year's snub by the playoff committee motivate this year's team? Uh, it motivated us a lot, um, and we knew it was basically just those games that we just, like, get away from us that, you know, it wasn't really when our team was it was hitting our peak yet and, and hitting our stride. So um, we, we tried to, obviously, we made the most out of last season, and, and we didn't let that, I guess, hinder us, you know, going into the postseason or anything like that. But um, we just knew that we left a lot out there last year, and we won a lot more this year, and especially with how close we were. And, and we felt like we deserved a shot in the college football playoff last year. And, and basically, we just want to make sure that in this offseason, you should see everyone was working to make sure that we, we we're all fighting for the same bigger goal and, and to improve from last year. Spinning ahead to this weekend in Evanston, what stands out to you about Northwestern's defense? Uh, they're a big physical defense. Um, they they got a lot of senior leadership on the defense as well. Um, some of the guys I played against when uh, these the last the previous two times that we played them, but um, but yeah, they're a big physical defense. You know, their corner is about six foot. Pretty strong looking guys and things like that. They're really smart. You know, you don't really cast them out of place or anything like that. Um, and they just make sure that they're making plays on the ball and, and they've been forcing a lot of turnovers so far this year. Well, Penn State's all time receptions leader, Deshaun Hamilton, has a nice ring to it, doesn't it, Deshaun? Yeah, yes, sir. I like that. Congratulations on the record and best of luck this weekend against Northwestern. Thank you.